Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how we can connect two fiber optic cable together. This is the factory pre-made fiber optic cable. The connect has been made in the factory, also test. So we don't need to handle the connector in the field. But usually the pre-made fiber optic cable comes with the fixed length, like this one is about 300 feet. What if you need longer than 300 feet? The fair source is just connect another pre-made fiber optic cable with this one to get longer length. But how we can make it work? Should we just use the Fusion 2 to spy these two? I think it doesn't make sense if you still need to use the Fusion 2. Here we got the LC waterproof coupler. By using this coupler, we can join these two primitive fiber optic cables together to get longer length. Okay, now let's get started. First, let me take a look at the grant. This is the duplex LC coupler. We're supposed to connect the connector to both sides to make the connection. Before we do that, we also need to use we need to pass the cable through this ground. This ground will hold the connection. Also, keep the water out of the connector. This is the cat, and we got some rubber, rubber ring, and the coupler. Okay, the first is let's pass the cable through the cat, and then don't forget this ring. Otherwise, we need to do it again. And we don't need to work with this small thing first because it's being cut. You see, we can, we can pass the cable through up at, at the last step. Okay, now let's pass through the grant. And now make the connection to the coupler. Let me take off the cover. The one thing, don't forget the, don't, don't hurry to close this cover at this moment because we need to match the tape. You see there's one, one is A, one is B. Make sure they match, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, let's move the other side. It's almost the same step. Okay, also this, this ring. And now the grant. Okay, you can make the connection now. Just check the tag. Okay, the this one is eight. Let me find the A. Okay, is here. Now this is second one. And let's double check the tape. Make sure it's match. All right, it's okay. Okay, now we can close the grant. Yeah, use the best force we have to close, make sure there's no get. All right, the last thing is about this small cover. And we push the cover. Also, the other side. It's, it's the same. You see, the reason we, we need to leave this one at last because if we do this first and close the cat, and uh, if we're rotating the, the body, it's going to twist your fiber optic cable. We, we have to leave this one for last. Okay. All right. Now, inventory, we can close the cap, both end. And also, Use the best force you have to make sure there's no gap between the cat and the body. It's pretty simple, right? This is the two strands primitive fiber optic cable. Usually we need two strands to transmit and receive the data. Here we have the media converter. This is the SAP transceiver. We got two ports. We're supposed to connect two fiber optic cables to these two ports, one for transmitting, one for receiving. My old device is always deploy some extra fiber optic cable just for future use. But what if the fiber optic cable is being deployed and buried? Is there any way to reuse or getting more connection by using two these two fiber optic cable? Here we got the SAP transceiver. This is BID by SAP transceiver. You can see there are only one port. It looks no different from this standard duplex SAP. Only this BIDI transceiver use the 
different wavelength to transmit to receive the data. So single fiber optic cable is enough to set up the fiber optic link between the point A and point B. The size and everything's the same. You can just deploy the BIDY transceiver to the same media converter. So with these two fiber optic cable link, we can set up two connections between point A and point B. All right, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.